a way to have it on the weekend so there you go it was hard but we uh, I think it is way better than an FF um, like all of the players were feeling bad having an FF in the green funnels um, so there we go um, so Shikoni did win the roll so well, without Shikoni we cannot do a lot of things here we can talk a bit about the players here um, Shikoni uh, being very well known into the tournament scene overall um, playing, yeah but begin to have a, a lot of recognition now in the, in the tournament scene And um, I'll have Matthew. Matthew, seat number two, uh, did also um, put uh, Chikani in loser bracket. That is why right now they are both in, uh, in loser bracket. Matthew did lose against Fasha for sure on winners. And both the players are here. We can now talk about maybe a bit of the strategy that they could use. I think Machu does have the lead in terms of uh, tricky, more tricky um, AR-11 Chikoni. I think will probably abuse of the star rating. Um, because we're, we're getting at the grand finals ball. The grand final right now are just no joke. So... Yep, Chikoni will be on the on the first pick, and I do believe that he's maybe gonna abuse on that. Um, on paper, on paper, just just paper only. Matthew would be favorite, uh, considering that Chikoni did lose already against Matthew. That in terms of just like performances overall on Air 11 Matthew would have the lead against Chikoni but Chikoni does have the lead in terms of uh, the star rating uh, now the star rating again for the grand finals um, for like around the maps will be around like uh, 6.4 6.9 can go to uh, 7.4 for the final map And we're gonna see a stream one. The overall the streams, uh, the just the streams, the tapping, full tapping, uh, weren't very like picked for both of the players. So it is uh, kind of refreshing uh, for Chikuni to go for that stream one. And yeah, Chikuni definitely. Uh, a good uh, player in terms of just tapping. It is, uh, I think, a pretty good pick for Chikuni, at least for first pick. And uh, there we go. The stream up, uh, the stream one being like just full stream. You're gonna pretty much have everything on that and like not aim not on that type of stuff you can see just small patterns but definitely not the major point of the map Chikoni already dropping a lot of accuracies um already into the map 72 percent is definitely not looking good break from matthew it's gonna reset a bit of the combo Chikoni now i think is feeling a bit better on the map but those accuracy drops at the beginning maybe surprise him uh, quite a bit Another break from Machu. I think Chikoni now can play around the combo game. 200 combo already on this stream one. Night is looking pretty good. Machu now holding a bit of combo, so the combo advantage is not too much in favor of Chikoni, but still in favor. The spinner is very well done for both of the players. Chikoni now having the best combos, best combo in the lobby, and by a bit far. And now Matthew does have to look for recovery. Matthew does have the accuracy lead and by quite a lot, above 10%. This is a huge 
uh, thing. Oh, both players breaking. That's going to favor Matthew, I think, with that accuracy. A um, little bit of a lead for Chikoni, but it is not... I don't think this is very, like, stable as it is um, 80% uh, accuracy for Chikoni. Matthew right now on the 88 did lose a bit of accuracy, so that accuracy advantage is not too big. In favor of Matthew, of course, this is relatively big. 7% 7, 7 is quite high. But it is not as bad for Chicken Heat than it was before. The scores are getting a bit tied up. Both other players breaking here. And Shane missing this pattern. Very understandable. Still 7%. Person advantage for Chicken Heat. It's very, very close, but for now, Chicken Heat does have it. Those combos are tied together. The accuracy is stunned in favor of Pachu, but I believe that big combo at the... Oh, hold on! The big combo at the beginning actually from Chikuni might not matter anymore. The lead now is really in favor of accuracy. Those combos are not pretty even. This is very advantageous for Matthew, and Matthew will definitely take it. At the end of the map, very, very close. The spinner will not matter. Indeed, actually, it will favor even a bit for Matthew. That's 9k difference at this, like, at the first pick for Chikuni. And it is already a break point into the match. This is very, very sad indeed for Chikoni. First to seven, though, there's plenty of time to recover from that defeat. Machu getting that first point very roughly, but we'll take it, especially because of that big accuracy of him. The combo might not be there, but the accuracy game did work on this stream one. Now again, Matthew could go for a thing more tricky. Or like picking even the accuracy map, seeing that I think it could work actually. I think it's first to seven. Yep, seven. And yeah, there you go. Accuracy one. I mean, accuracy. Just accuracy. Very good pick. I think uh, it is very favorable for Matthew. It show a lot of strength on that accuracy. With that pick of a lead, I think this is a pretty safe pick. The world is one, and. Oh, passcode! Let's go! A TV size! Oh, wait, same one. Um. Oh, oh no, it's not AIM-1. It's literally ACK, but it is AIM-1 because it's TV size. Oh. Okay, yeah. Oh, oh, yep, I do get the joke because it is indeed a pre farm map. But even with the farm map, I do believe in terms of accuracy. Looking pretty good for Mathieu. But let's see. It is way different than a stream map. This one does have more jumps indeed. And while the scores are not mattering, so what do we see right now is Chikoni having a bit of an accuracy, not too much. Matthew is definitely there. Just not too much. Oh, a few hundreds right now for uh, Chikoni from the slow down before the Kiai. I think we lose some quite of accuracy just because of that. Chikoni dropping a miss, a few hundreds here. That is going to matter a lot. Those misses are worse than a 100, worse than a 50. The accuracy is going down right now for Chikoni. Machu does miss, but it is not going to matter. I think Machu does have a comfortable lead. There's not enough circles in the map. Machu will take that. And having a better accuracy, 95%. Also 1 million score, but yeah. The scores are a bit more uh, easy.
I mean, the, the map is a bit more easy compared to the, the rest of the maps. Oh, Chikoni. Chikoni tries it. Chikoni tries again. Stream 2. Stream 2, trying just to get through that stream. Uh, well, also on the stream. Okay, on the stream, we only have one star. We, we have to add stars. This is a bit sad. Anyway, 2 zero in favor of Matthew. It is now a Nekomata Master. Let's go, Banger. And, uh, well, it does have other streams, but a bit more overall uh, stream map. A bit less precise compared to the last one that we saw. We're gonna see some jumps, but not too much. It's still stream map. Well, saying good luck, and yeah, the map is starting. Stream 2 it is. Chikoni trying just to just trying to get that those three maps on the board. The first one didn't work, but maybe for the best better performance here. Will work. Nerdy break from Matthew. Also Chikoni, but it was before, so it is not mattering too much. Again the accuracy lead is in favor of Matthew. The accuracy in AR11 is really, really important. Machu breaking. Watch out for that. Chikoni right now having the lead. This is looking pretty strong right now for Chikoni. And yeah, only 300k for, for Chikoni. Should be pretty good right now. It should work. Yeah, Chikoni having too much lead right now. It is way better to the stream uh, to the stream one. Chikoni looking very favorite to take this stream one. But you're still holding. Hold on. Yeah, no, this is uh, there's like the map the, the map has been done. Job has been done. Chikoni taking this one first point in the board on the board for him. Two against one. But it is a pick right now for Matthew. Matthew has to strike back. And thanks for the score. The score update. Really neat. Now again, Matthew could again do some damage. Oh, Bentro. Bentro moment. Yeah, I was I was talking about like just again some tricky um tricky patterns like picking the into the alt of uh, finger control maybe of all three even though like just those two players didn't really use a lot for the um, for the match like the, the full tapping uh, it's going to be rhythm and yeah I was talking about uh, of all three all three is indeed finger control but Inside it is going to be the rhythm pick. Now it is going to be a act battle again. Matthew really does like the those act battle. Also, yeah, okay, let's go. Them should be pretty good right now for, for Matthew since the very beginning. Matthew does have the lean in terms of accuracy. Yeah, Chikoni knows. Chikoni knows that it is again going to be difficult to take a potential breakpoint here. I mean, at least on the accuracy. Um, typically, it was okay. Uh, Chikoni wasn't too far behind. On this one, I don't think like a, a kid like that kind of miracle could happen. Just since the very beginning of the match, we can literally see that Matthew does work. Uh, way more on the act. So the accuracy advantage should be very, very good on this map. 
Yo, no map. Whole map here. Let's go. Anyway, Chikuni, I believe, will try their best. Try his best to take this one. It is still possible. We never know. But yeah, Machu looking very favorite for this one. A very good pick indeed. Again, don't look at the scores, just look at the accuracy. This is where it is going to be mattering. Oh, the CS is high! Wait, what? Oh god! Hmm, okay. Well, already some accuracy drops for both of the players, but... You know, I'm going pretty alright for now for Chikuni. Despite all that fact. Yeah, Machu looking pretty good on the 91%, but 80, 89% is not too bad. A bit of a misread on that pattern. Very understandable. Yeah, right now Machu on the 92%. Chikuni 89%. Not not looking too bad, but 5% not looking a bit more complicated to recover. And the accuracy is still going down, we can see. Skrush are trying to search for that. Trying to work on the reactivity a lot, but we're not just dropping a few hundreds here and there. Again, it is not too much of damage. 89% is still really good, especially on the right final stage. Oh, Machu breaking, having some misses, oh, but the finger control part. Definitely costs a lot of accuracy for Chikuni. 87%. Not looking very, very dangerous. We're getting at the last quarter into the map. A few hundreds on the slow parts. Not looking great for Chikuni on this pick. Again, yeah, it was really complicated on the start. But this rhythm pick, so... I think it was it is a bit more desperate right now for Chikun to recover. And looks like uh, another point for Matthew, 92%. Very stabilized for both of the players since the very beginning of the of the point. Chikuni were like around 89, 88. Did stabilize Matthew being on 91, 92, even at 93 at some point. Uh, Chikuni also was at 90, but. At least, like, it, those accuracies were very, very stable for both of the players, so great job to them. Always good to have some consistency, but yeah, Matthew will take this one. 92% against 88 at the end of the day. Looking very strong. Yeah, Matthew definitely I kept using on this one, but it is part of the game, it is part of the gimmick. Uh, you can abuse up a maple if the skill set is there. there is, it is going to be overall uh, two uh, and one. Ah, high BPM overall skill set. Yeah, Shikuni tries to go for like very tapping uh, maps. I can smash you. I do think this is a. A good map. I do believe also he got a bit unfortunate on the on the stream map. And with the skill set, I do believe it does make sense. And we're gonna roll. We're gonna be a, a rolling star for this one. Sung by Blitch. I think this one actually is pretty long, if I remember correctly. But yeah, an overall does well require a full skill set, just like not too specialized, like we saw in the gimmicks and the and the stream. This one just uh, gonna have a bit of burst, nothing too crazy, a bit of aim, nothing too crazy. But because this is grand finals, those uh, just the the star rating might get a few uh, hundreds here and there for a lot of players. No break for both other players. It is going to favor Matthew for the 97% accuracy. 
Chikoni does hold on, so it's still not over as long as both of the bears are still holding. But if Matthew does hold, hold and as long as he holds, it is going to be a point for him and a break point. Right now, looking for it with a 98% really good accuracy on this one. 93% not too bad for Chikoni, but it is indeed worse compared to Matthew. It is what mattering right now. With the of hundreds right now for Matthew on this pattern. Watch out for that. And Matthew, oh, Matthew breaking. That is going to change a bit for the map. Now Chikoni does have to get a lot of that combo game. I've seen that pattern. I've seen those triangles. Very, very important. Those bursts were a bit late, but they are still here. Machu breaking again. I do believe that point will go in favor of Chikoni. That combo is too big for Machu, even with that good accuracy. That accuracy, you cannot out hack Chikoni 100% of the time. This map is not about accuracy. This map is about scores, and right now, in terms of scores, Chikoni will still the FC. We'll definitely take this one. There's no coming back from Machu. We're getting the outro going on here. And Chikoni will definitely take this one for sure. Again, few hundreds here, but it is not going to matter. Chikoni, maybe with the FC on this overall, and it is happening. Yeah, an FC on this overall too. Very, very well done from Chikoni. I mean, he knew he has to do that. He did it. He did it. On this overall, very, very good FC on Green Finals. So good. Just, yeah, insanely good. Insanely good, really insane performance. Again, the, the accuracy for Matthew, really nice try. Good combo also. But, oh, I missed at the start. Oh, I forgot. I mean, okay, no, let's say it's an FC. Let's say it's an FC. Honestly, it looks like an FC. It, it is an FC. It's actually really, really good. But yeah. And now those like accuracy maps are getting a bit out of the way. Rhythm has been picked from uh, Machu. Hack has been picked from Machu. Now those maps are gone. So maybe another for another gimmick, another complex. Um, map that would that, that would be the not, not not like too high in terms of sr but just like just tricky again i would believe that the finger control will be good i don't know if awkward aim though will be good like the m5 could definitely pick into alt though alt could be actually a good choice like a middle round pick and because it does ha still have a lead um, with a breakpoint it could pick into that it's not too sure because Shikoni can definitely like win a alt pick um, it can be uh, it can be pretty difficult actually to um, to pick in, uh, for that but right now Machu does have the lead so if he wants to go for a risky pick and get even more information, then why not trying it? Again, finger control could be good, uh, just because of the accuracy, but there is always this fear of Shikoni having that combo game. Alt, yeah, all not map, uh, um, gathering around the alt. Auto is going uh, to the overall, more overall skill set. But, like, will be around uh, alt. Just overall. Uh, yeah. <laughs> this is very sad for Matthew. I mean, he knows that he can definitely uh, take a lot of points just because of Ark. Oh, that's beam up. Oh, I love that speed. Great artist. I, I love that speed. Also, I, I do believe that, first of all, like the Chikoni, I don't, yeah, not, no pure burst on this one. Considering that this is a hard diff and 
Um, well, karate is, uh, you know, I don't think that's the mob style. But anyway, we're gonna have some alt. Just, uh, it can be a bit uh, hard for Machu, I believe, in terms of just like consistency of the aim. I think it does. Uh, it did uh, cost a bit of the point already. Not really a burst, but just not too big, so it should be okay. Oh, actually, there. Okay, no, this is only triple boss. That should be fine for Machu. Already a break from Chikoni. This is not looking very good. If Chikoni doesn't have a big combo game, it is going to be a bit difficult for him. Machu still on the 97%. Again, having the accuracy lead, 5% for this one, but because of the 97%, that accuracy is uh, like having a lot of value for this one. Oh, and she's gonna be breaking on that burst, but it is going to be traded uh, by Matthew. I think that trade still favors Matthew overall, just considering the accuracy. It should be okay, I think, for Matthew. As long as both of the players are holding combos on quite a left. Few hundreds from uh, Chicken Yondu's first. I'm very happy to see those. And we're already getting actually uh, at the ending. And 92% was indeed a good act. But versus Matthew, it is not going to matter. In the 97% is actually pretty unreal. Uh, 800k will be the final score from Matthew. 500k. Uh, 300k difference between those players. Uh, only two misses from Shikuni. Not too bad. But yeah, zero miss. Only a, a slight break from Matthew. And yeah, that 97% that is actually unreal. I do agree with you, Shikuni. It's a bit, you know... You know, it, I don't know, it's really, really difficult to imagine how you can 97% that. Oh, overall, 3 from Chikoni. Ah, uh, yeah. I mean, the thing is that for Machu, it is a good pick, but Chikoni picking that. He must think that this is also a good pick. The... Oh. 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 Oh god. Yeah, Chikani, I think it's a bit dead right now. It, it, it is looking it is pretty rhythmic on this one. But yeah, he picked into finger control. So I guess he, he gets what he deserves, you know? An overall three finger control. Very fair and understandable. So they're gonna get Daisuke, very a very classic map. In um, you know the standard in manual, so very very cool map. And uh, yeah, I mean, Chikuni does know that he's not gonna have the lead in terms of accuracy, so he's gotta gamble for the for the big combo game. And right now, it does work. 98% on the intro from Matthew. This is actually pretty unreal. The, the accuracy from Matthew overall is really unreal. But both of the players holding the combos, that's what's mattering the most right now, especially for Chikoni. Chikoni does have to look for that high combo in order to take this one home. We're already halfway through the map, so at the end of the day, it does favor Matthew. We're halfway through. And who's gonna struggle the most during... Wait, nobody- Oh, nobody broke! Okay, nobody broke uh, for the restart of the map, pretty much. But again, that's gonna favor- Oh, <laughs> that one! Wait, that one was... N okay, nah, nah. Oh, hell nah! Oh hell nah, that, that, that circle was just 
so like badly placed for this tournament. To be honest, it was way too tricky. Of course, both of the players missing that. 90! No, okay, what? 99.4? What? Only 200! Uh, um... No, actually, okay, actually that score is unreal. That the score from Matthew is actually unreal. That is not supposed to happen. It is going to be a breakpoint in the favor of Matthew with just that score. But there was no way that Chikoni could have fit then back anyway, even with the best will. Chikoni tried the combo game, but yeah, both are players missing at the same place. It is going to favor Matthew just because of the accuracy. Now that you have to go for another potential accuracy game. Um, I mean, Alter did work for Mathieu. Uh, could go for Art 1. I don't know for Art 3. Oh, oh right, overall three, that's right. Okay, yeah, overall three, again, another finger control. Oh god, I believe that in the head of Chikuri. Like, oh no, not again, not the 99% on the overall three. Oh no. This is very difficult, I think, for Chikoni right now. Especially, like, having like his own pick reversed. Any waters enjoy? Anyway, overall three again, another finger control map. And well, we already saw the first map uh, from the from both of the players. We knew who we know who won. Already a lot of struggles right now for Chikoni. Oh, this one does seem a bit more old map compared to the rest of the of the maps. Oh yeah, Machu actually missing on that, and now Chikoni with the combo, not anymore! So it is going to favor again Machu every time that Chikoni will break, it is going to be a massive lead in favor of Machu, no matter what happens. But the accuracy need is only 4%, it's not too big right now, it's just too much to consider. Another break from Chikoni, this is not looking very good. That one wasn't the same. And he does need to have a bit of a recovery in order to take this one, but right now Machu is holding strong 200 combo and is literally denying uh, Chikoni score on this overall 3. And well, both of the players holding on and it is going to favor heavily Mathieu. And that is until one of the players break, and after that we might see some of uh, some of the maybe things going on. But right now, just what the players holding again a pure advantage for mature accuracy combo. He got them all. Oh, big drop right now for Chikuni. I think that's gonna seal the deal. Yeah, really just struggling to play the last bit of the map. No, it's just gonna. It's gonna be over right now. The map also is going to be over. Matthew's still going with the combo, also. No coming back from this for Chikoni. And Matthew finally breaking at the end of the map, but almost 900k. Ouch. Ouch. It hurts for Chikoni. That overall three. Um, 
might be at first Miss Big because also Matthew knew uh, he could be a bit more confident uh, to pick uh, again like those finger control type. He knew he had the the edge, so yeah. That overall pick from Jikoni, uh, that overall three did like gain some of backlash against Shikoni himself. Aim three is going to be the pick. I do think it is a bit more more of a reasonable choice. Aim consistency. I do believe that Chikuni like could be favorite on this one, but you know Chikuni, you're actually running out of time. Chikuni is actually running out of time. You know, already match point for Matthew. Chikuni does have to look for a heavy comeback. Oh. Oh, this one is aimed for sure. Necrofantasia, I love this map. I love the song. Let's go. Alright. Oh no, the wall has been lost. From Chikuni, oh no, that means that Metro is going- no, just kidding. Anyway. GLHF for both of the players on this aim pick. Aim consistency indeed. And uh, now it is time for Chikuni to shine again. The combos overall were a bit more favorite for Chikuni. As I say that though, already a break, not looking too strong. There's plenty of maps, so it should be okay. That break was really early. Get okay, both of the players hitting that jump. And there's gonna be plenty of that actually. So, like those uh, a bit more spaced jumps uh, compared to the less spaced uh, patterns. Um, also, those awkward aim, it is not too comfortable, to be honest. Uh, both of the players holding. Again, it is going to favor Matthew. But if Matthew breaks at some point, which might happen on the name map, uh, it could change things. Right now, both players holding in, and Matthew does have the lead. Watch out for that pattern. It's not as scary as it looks. And indeed, both of the players hitting. It just Chikoni dropping a bit uh, of hundreds here on that patterns. Nothing too crazy, but with Matthew still holding to the FC, it is going to be difficult to just like get that lead back for Chikoni. Oh, Matthew breaking at the end might be enough time. Might be enough time. I think yeah, it is definitely enough time for Chikoni to come back from this one. And it, despite having that early break, despite having. Not not having the accuracy need Chikuni will take this one. That is three against six. A potential comeback right now on this pick for Chikuni. Again, not the accuracy need, but that is not mattering. Just the just the the score. The score is mattering. Of course, those accuracies were only really mattering on those act picks, but the comeback game did work for Chikuni. And it is mattering a lot. Another point on the board. But there's still plenty to go. Matthew with his own pick. I think really wants to conclude that match already. But with the what? Could go again for a tricky map. You know, those... Um, those finger control, those ag maps. I think he could still go for the alt one. The pure alt would be pretty good. You know, art did work for Matthew before. So I do think he will go for that, but... Oh, alt 3. Okay, a bit different than what I would imagine. Yeah, I think a bit more tapping. Uh, a bit more burst. Why not? I would still consider that Chikuni will still have the lead. But... Yeah. That's it, that's it.
Oh. Okay, that's a banger. Okay, I love it already. Let's go. Hunger. Amarante. I, I don't really know the artist. Not too familiar. But it is. Pure banger. Oh god. It's really good. Okay, let's go. At least it's a banger. Okay. Again, match point for Matthew. He wins that. This is a uh, top two secured. And Shikuni will be top three, but you know, Shikuni having those last chances, looking for potential comeback on this all three. But he has to go all strong, and Matthew will definitely be strong too on this all three. Shikoni already having a first break, but we saw that it is not mattering on aim one. On aim two, actually, did got a bit of consistency issue at the beginning, but he did want it nonetheless. But those accuracies might be a bit struggling right now for, uh, for Shikoni. That 10% lead in favor of Matthew is doing so much work right now. Shikoni with another break, that's not looking good right now for Shikoni. But you're looking strong right now. Shikuni breaking again. No, this is not working at all right now. Shikuni, that those chances of comeback, potential comeback that was calling, might be right now gone with the wind. But you're still with the FC 95%, still having the accuracy lead, still having the combo lead. Right now, Shikuni, without that pure combo game, I don't think it is going to work very very well Matthew still with the FC still looking strong a really a good score right now Matthew finally breaking but she could need to trade that is again going to favor Matthew believe it or not because of that high accuracy still going on for Matthew 94% 89% again she could need not bad at all but you have to look for more you have to look for more in the score and final one final lose the bracket and right now Matthew looking very very strong Last quarter to go right now for Matthew for potential uh, top two match point. He's stressing. Shikoni calling the GG. I mean, maybe it is a bit too early. Maybe it is actually a bit too late for Shikoni to decide what it's side. But mathematically, I would actually agree with him that GG has been called. And I do believe that GG was actually pretty understandable. Matthew still holding with that big combo. That trade didn't favor Adol Chikoni and Machu on the driver's seat to take this one. Seven against three against Chikoni. Matthew will be top two at the very least, uh, facing for sure, for sure on winner's bracket. And he will have to force a bracket reset in order to take this one. But at the very least, it is top two for Matthew. Top three for Chikoni. Really good score really good like tournament tournament overall and really good performance like those combos from Shikoni that was like really really great really really deserved like for third place those accuracies also I was talking about the combo from uh, Shikoni but those accuracies also were really really good to be honest but Machu just too strong accuracy wise especially on the arc battles and just the finger control having those points on the back and well flash show for show and match two will be the last battle and that last battle would be at uh, uh for utc tuesday uh i will not be able to commentate this one unfortunately this is way too early for me uh maybe there's gonna be a commentator but at the very least there is going to be a stream so uh, at least you're gonna see those performances, those really uh, high skill cap, very talented player um, on AR11. Thanks for watching. Uh, I was Chris Andrew. Thanks to uh, Isk for streaming. Very appreciated, and also refing. And uh, see everyone.